talk about a superstar celebrity chef, Wolfgang Puck. Yeah, I mean, his world-famous restaurant Spago actually started in Hollywood, so he's become an Oscar tradition, and now he has restaurants all over the world. But tonight, we have the story behind all of his success and why he once actually considered ending it all. Let's go. I had Justin Bieber, who comes to the restaurant, to Spago all the time, and he eats the onion lotte with truffles. He likes our Kobe steak. He really likes to eat, yet he's skinny like that. Before Bieber was born, Wolfgang was serving stars at Oscar's Governor's Ball. This year, Julianne, Reese, and Oprah. You know, everybody's been not eating anything. We've been on, you know, no oil, no fat, no nothing. That's why I just had some pizza. Now this pizza made us world famous. Well, that and his post-Oscar party at Spago. Madonna came with Michael Jackson, Tom with Nicole. The spotlight turned Wolfgang into a global brand. Bake your little cobblers in there. Puck's worth an estimated $75 million. I'm on my way to the farmer's market in Santa Monica. How is our bread, like in Austria? We spent a day with the chef, shopping for his Beverly Hills Steakhouse yeah. Cut, yeah. Spago, the Bel Air Hotel, and his own family. I want them without the top, so take off the tops like four punches for the house. Cooking it to me, it's like fashion. You know, you there has to be an evolution. You can't make the same dress or the same pants all the time. And there's a side to Wolfgang we never knew. The strong-willed chef got off to a rough start. My stepfather really always told me I was good for nothing. And when I left, he said, oh, you're good for nothing. You will be back in a month. And I said, I will never come back. He was 14 then, and his first job nearly turned to tragedy. After a month or so, or not even a month, we ran out of mashed potatoes and potatoes in general, and uh, it was all my fault. Even I didn't even know how much they needed or whatever, and he told me, you're fired. So I said, you know, I cannot be fired. So that night, it was probably the lowest point of my career. I went to the river, I said, you know, I'm not going home. My father told me I'm good for nothing. The chef told me now I'm good for nothing, and I was ready to jump into the river and kill myself. After an hour standing on a bridge and looking down and looking down, I said, you know what, maybe I'm gonna go back tomorrow. Maybe he's gonna forget about the whole thing. Maybe he was drunk or God knows what. Wolfgang got a job back and later moved to America. His philosophy remains simple. How can I improve what I did from today to tomorrow? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are five or six people, okay? Yes, sir. The owner of the Beverly Hilton. <laughs> we might need a job one day. We never know. <laughs> You know, Wolfgang's food empire continues to expand. He uh, just opened up his first ever restaurant in Dubai. Wolfgang says he intends for it to be the first of many in the Middle Eastern region. I think it's amazing. And I, I, he, look, he's a great chef and a really good, good guy. Great dad yeah. and husband. He sure is.